Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit uh, in the surroundings of our North London allotments and talk about different whiskies. And as you can see today, you've joined me on an absolutely stunning autumnal afternoon. You know, sort of bright sunshine, a little bit uh, of a chill in the air, but you know, otherwise lovely. You can't ask for more than this, uh, particularly after you know a couple of days of heavy rain like we've had. But uh, it's meant that you know I've had quite a productive afternoon. There's not so many jobs to do as in the spring and summertime, of course, but uh, it does allow you to kind of. Uh, sort of reset things, uh, put things to bed for the winter, plus also, you know, prepare for some winter and some uh, early spring veg as well. So, you know, I've done a few jobs like that today, but uh, while that's all very interesting, I'm sure, um, I am here, of course, to talk about whiskey and, you know, what is the allotment dram today, I hear you ask. And today I've picked uh, the Anok 12, there we are, uh, Anok 12. As you can see, it's a, a little a miniature, and uh, you know, not a, everything that we we buy or uh, receive for the blog comes in the full size bottle. So we do get a lot of uh, miniatures to review, and of course, it's a great way uh, to actually try lots of different whiskies without purchasing the full bottle. So. You know, if you're ever in a shop and see a few things that interest you, then you know, definitely urge you to uh, sort of have, have a look and, and buy some miniatures because you can try different things. It certainly helped us when we were learning as well. Uh, right at the beginning, you know, it helped us sort of identify different styles of whiskey as well. And we receive, you know, quite a few sort of every week. I, our postman must uh, wonder what on earth we're up to, um, but. Uh, you know, anyway, so Anok, what can I tell you about that? Uh, Anok is not actually a distillery. It's uh, This is a single malt, so it is made at a, a single distillery, but it's actually made at the Nokdu distillery. And it's quite an old distillery, you know, just over 125 years old. It's been there since 1893, currently owned by Inverhouse uh, Distillers. Um, but the distillery itself is called Nokdu, which means Black Hill. And if you go there, you know, lucky you've been there to do a tour, and literally behind the distillery is a hill that in most weathers looks, if not black, pretty dark, you know, quite imposing actually. So this is where it gets its name from. So Nokdu in Gaelic is uh, Black Hill. So Anok just means the hill. Uh, and it's called, the, they've basically had to call their single malt, something different from the distillery name because there's also Nokandu, which is a Speyside uh, distillery. So as far back as the 1990s, they, they changed the name to avoid any confusion between Nokdu and Nokandu. Uh, so uh, there we are. This is uh, the sort of start of the core range. This is 40% uh, ABV and it's an East Highland distillery. So probably the nearest town is Huntley and you go out from Huntley sort of northeast and then uh, up towards the coast and it's probably good 25 minutes from Huntley but uh, without further ado let's have a little taste shall we there we are so as you can see from this you know very sort of light colour uh, there, you know, see predominantly the old bourbon cast for this. So this light sort of, uh, sort of golden honey. So it's quite pale gold though, I would say. So let's have a smell. Yeah, it's got a lovely, lovely sort of grassy, slightly grainy quality, but quite light. There, there's this lovely sort of honey and vanilla. There's some like, coconut in there as well. A bit of white chocolate. And then it has a sort of zesty, it's quite vibrant quality. So let's have a taste. Yeah, and it really, really reflects that. It's got a sort of, initially quite a sort of, uh, this vibrant sort of zesty feel. 
like a fresh lemon, lemon zest if you uh, just you know use a zester or a potato peeler or something just and you get all those oils coming off you get that and then you have this wonderful sort of honey and vanilla and white chocolate which really makes it a little bit creamier and softer so uh, let's let's have another taste This sort of white chocolate and honey really coming through. Maybe a bit of like a green apple in there as well. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just so yeah, quite good for a day like this. It's just so uplifting and so so vibrant. It just kind of matches, you know, what's going on around me. You know, you've got I've got birds singing, I've got the, the sunshine you know, this sort of slight crisp autumnal Christmas in the air and it just, you know, such an uplifting and vibrant sort of whiskey so yeah if you've not tried Anok or you know anything else from the Nok Du distillery then the 12 years old is a really good starting point and there's a few others in the in the core range as well so you know well worth a try you know particularly if you like this sort of slightly lighter style of uh, of single malt and they also do a small range of peated whiskies as well which they you know started a bit more recently but about one-fifth of their actual annual production is is actually uh, peated malt now so you know you can pick up those as well so they're very interesting but uh, from myself and the Anok 12 on this gorgeous afternoon in North London we should bid you farewell thanks for watching see you again very soon cheers <laughs>